to be honest, it's a, a great opportunity to have bright luminaires. Of course, we always talk about uh, effects and show effects. Um, and the question could be answered with uh, yes, both. Because there are concerns, of course, um, when talking about lumen output, um, we as a designer having a stage in our mind maybe not need the same output like on a cruise ship. That's the point. So um, the bandwidth where multifunctional fixtures will be in use is so wide. Um, and the concerning point is that if you don't um, yeah, have the responsibility uh, to take care where the beam goes, it could be directly go into an eye or in, 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 a, in a crowd, which is not prepared for that. Um, when, when we look to the sun, our lid goes closes directly and we are uh, yeah, in, in secure automatically, which is might be a problem with lighting because when the purple is wide open, um, this moment can take some seconds, maybe. It belongs on, on the on the old uh, people have a longer face uh, securing their eyes. Young people are very fast at that. Yeah, but the thing is also that uh, lighting fixtures are sometimes faster than the eyelid and can't close fast enough to, pre to prevent the, the eye from getting damaged. And there are also countless stories of molten carpets, molten keyboards, molten LED screens. When people didn't think about the power of a, of a strong lighting ray and what do you think can be done to, to, in, to ensure safety in, the, in these options? When we, uh, I think that it, the, the, the powerful lighting fixtures, they won't disappear. I mean, of they course, I, I think uh, the, the last point would be to, to limit down to uh, maybe 200 lux. So we will know that there will be no effect anymore. So that means we have to take care. We, we have to educate us and, and the, the user what has going to happen or what will happen. Um, when we talk about an effect, the, the luminaire is going to the crowd and we want that effect, maybe we can dim the light down and when it comes up again, we, we have to control it. So the, the first point or the recommendation is to, to think about what's going on there and, and maybe measure the output. Because, you know, if we use a 100,000 lux uh, luminaire, it's not that, that what, we, what we use in general. But there are effects we, we want to have it. And uh, sometimes the, the master fader maybe is on 10%. So that means nothing for the lumen output. The, the luminaire is uh, going to, to send out to the crowd. So okay. dim it down and uh, take care and think about it. That's my recommendation. <laughs> yeah, that's very easy set. But yeah, there, there's a lot behind, of course. It, an, an hour would not re uh, uh, would be enough time to... to uh, have a chat regarding where's the, you know, the critical point. Yeah. But uh, do you think that some kind of regulations would make sense in the future? Or if we would establish something like a lighting license in comparison to a driving license that you have to prove your knowledge and your ability to take care of risks in order to, uh, to be allowed to work with lighting fixtures? Yeah. How does it sound to you? Uh, I'm totally happy with regulations always because it's fun. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, when, when we have regulations, um, the, the question is who I'm going to, to make it? Uh, is it, is it the security agency of, uh, lumen output? Um, or so in, in the bad case, we will have people out there, um, uh, having an insurance company and they uh, want to have a, a driver license yeah but in the good case we can uh, go ahead and, and take care that somebody uh, who is doing our business is educated and has has maybe technology at the back end of of the luminaire so i think in the future we will have of course systems which are watching by side the the human eye maybe um, and, and can control a fixture in that way that's um, the angle and maybe the area where the effects I'm speaking about X, Y so any fixture which has an arm maybe can uh, 
yeah, by going down to the crowd, have an automatic dimming process. We don't know how to do it right now. We have to take care. And um, the more education we have, the more people can uh, just know what's going on there. Professionals out there are not really uh, in, in the interest of regulations. They are always be not so happy when somebody says uh, you, you have to limit it to maybe, I say a number 20,000 lux, whatever. That would be much more we need. Yeah. You know, when we have maybe 1,800 lux in the brightest solution here. Um, so if there would be a limit, the professional people uh, can't live with it. They don't need it maybe, but uh, regulation in that uh, form uh, is not the problem for me. It's the problem we need a police which is going around with, with measurement tools and what's then? So um, when we have a regulation you have to measure and when we measure everything we are not having fun anymore. Because as I'm, I'm coming from the design perspective and say when you lit the cruise ship you need brightness, you want to uh, proportional effect and if the if the ship is maybe 300 meter long what would what would the the, the picture of a 50 foot uh, beam do in, in the picture it, it's nothing so lighting can create moments and this is really our also an emotional part and if the proportion um goes down uh, in the in the yeah boring meaning I, I i say it doesn't it doesn't come to my heart so the emotion is lost and that's why it's important if we talk about regulation we can maybe be the big part in creating these texts <laughs> and can the manufacturers also uh, do their part to to uh, to make the situation better i mean they are not forced to to make always brighter and brighter light yeah, the, there is not a political uh, uh, orientation in that. So I would say we, as a community, with together with manufacturers, has to take have to take care about it. Um, that we get the right values. Um, that also is maybe a part of um, you know LDT files. So uh, some calculation tools. Uh, GDTF is one big part. I think in. in um, also visualization of of uh, what we will get um, and the better the data is in front of uh, designing a stage or maybe an event or whatever we, we we will be able to handle that and the measuring is is a thing the question of cost also um, of time because if you imagine we have yeah I, I don't like to to uh, talk about luminaires uh, because of it's an LED and a, a, a focal equipment it's it's a multi-usage multi-purpose uh, 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 I, I lost the word uh, you know it's a power plant uh, which generates photons and um, it's so complex that the measurement would mean maybe months yes months of, of grabbing data from a picture which is used anywhere yes and that's the hard part. But unfortunately, it's much too complex for our little talk. Florian Kick, nevertheless, thank you very much for this uh, insight into the world of brightness of lighting fixtures. Big applause for Florian Kick, CEO of Emmet and board member of the VNNV. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Markus.